I guess it's almost, it's a few seconds before three, so we'll make this our last question. <laughs> I can wait if you No, that's fine. Uh, just your last thing, you, you mentioned the, the suicide thing, and I've always wondered, why not, you know? Especially uh, with the course kind of, it seems to be, I, I was suicidal and depressed for quite a while, and then I was like, oh, suicide is not such a bad thing. When the course came around, it was like, sort of suicidal, but not depressed. And I thought it was a great relief, kind of, and I thought like, why not, as a sort of final act of uh, forgiveness, like jump out of a plane from really far and say, I'm going to unleash all the concepts before I hit the ground or something, you know? Like, uh, it'd be like a, like a, a great expression session in the air. In, in the air, I'm just going to ex express it all and let it all go. And before I hit the ground, the universe disappears. I, I don't understand why not, you know? That's what I love about these gatherings. You get down to 20 seconds and then you hear something that's like, oh, I've heard that one. A flying expression session. <laughs> And let's get it over with before the splat. <laughs> well, you do, it does, I mean, the more you get a deeper sense of spirituality, it does take the, the, con the stigma off of that, because, because what we talked about before of life really isn't of the body, and the body's eyes don't really see, and the body's ears don't really hear, and the body never really lives or dies, is born or dies. And you start to realize that all of the, the mind training and all the definitions from the Course are taking us into a, a state of mind, like, like hell or death or upset are all synonymous for wrong-mindedness. And joy and peace and happiness and clarity are all synonymous for right-mindedness. And you start to realize that it's a decision, the real important decision is, is who am I aligning with, the spirit or the ego? That's where all the attention goes. And, and you do start to realize that what seems to be physical death is not a real ending at all. It's almost like changing the channel. You know, you're going from ESPN to ESPN2, uh, you know, no big deal really. But also it's this sense of, um, that, that heaven is you know, reached through the choice for life, that, that no one reaches heaven through death. And you also see that death is not of the body, you know, it's, it's a, a death wish, it's Thanatos in the mind, it's, it's the egoic um, belief system that's the death wish. And that's where you're wanting to expose that, bring it up into awareness and go, wow, I, I can't honestly believe in this. Because uh, I can see it for what it is. It has no value whatsoever. I choose resurrection. I choose not resurrection of the body, but I choose the resurrection of the mind, of the correction, atonement. So I think you're absolutely right that, that once the stigma is taken out and you realize that, that everything is the result of a decision, it's just an, an outward picture of an inward state of mind, that you know, ultimately, what's the difference between somebody who goes to sleep one night and seems to die in their sleep, and somebody who is hit by a bus uh, on the highway, you start to realize that they're, in the end, the same illusion, as well as taking a walk on a sunny day. You know, it's the sameness of illusions is what the Course is taking us to. That's where the unified awareness comes in. But, um, in terms of people thinking of, of extinguishing the body or leaving the body or whatever, you know, as a way of, um, of, of healing or escaping something, whenever there's still that escape feeling, you know, that somehow I can do something in form to make an escape, it's more just a call to go inside and say, oh, I can forgive, I can choose a miracle, and that offers the healing release, and, and that's what I want to train my mind on, is that. Not on thinking that there's some kind of a, an escape hatch in form. Uh, but I do agree that it's, it just kind of takes the whole stigma out of it. And I will be like, sometimes I'll be counseling with somebody, and uh, driving through the mountains, or driving through the canyons or whatever, and somebody gets on the line and they're they're suicidal or they're going through extreme
intensities and everything, and then the, the call drops. And, you know, it's like, oh well. You know, I, mean, I, I, I don't really have a, a sense of life or death in the world. I one time took a trip across Pennsylvania with all the Pocono Mountains and everything, and I think there was this, this was a suicide call that came like four times, and, and the call kept dropping. And I'd be, I'd be talking, talking, sharing, sharing, and then the call would just drop, and I'd just smile and go, oh, talking to myself again, talking to myself. You get this sense that everything you think and say and do is all for your own mind. It's not, there's nobody out there to heal or save. You know, you're just being a conduit, an expression for spirit. And uh, so it does, in the end, it does kind of take all the charge around away from from so-called suicide, because everything's a choice, everything's a choice in mind.